The virtual reality and augmented reality market is expected to reach 72.8 billion US dollars globally by 2024. However, research on how best to instruct users in VR is limited, and the relative effectiveness of tutorial styles is not well understood. For this work, we draw upon the cognitive theory of multimedia learning, which broadly describes the most effective principles in designing multimedia for learners. This theory is based on three core cognitive principles. First, the dual channels principle argues for the existence of separate channels for processing visual and audio information. The limited capacity principle argues that there is a limited capacity for each of these channels at any given time. Finally, the active processing principle argues that learning occurs through a process involving filtering, selecting, organizing, and integrating information based on learners' existing knowledge. According to multimedia learning theory, the following are the most effective principles in designing multimedia for learners. Combine graphics with words rather than using words alone. Align words to describe graphics close to the graphics themselves. Avoid extra material that's unnecessary to the instructional goal and use visual cues to direct the learner's attention as this helps speed up the learning of information. Existing studies suggest that tutorial usefulness depends greatly on how complex the games are and that the manner that tutorials are presented in can influence player effect and motivation. We first performed a directed content analysis of 50 existing VR games. We find that the majority of the games contain a tutorial level, 40% of the game studies have some form of embedded help such as loading screen hints, we found that a majority of games had some form of text help, just over half had some form of diagrams or images, and a small number leveraged the player's controllers that appeared in VR and used labels in those controllers. Exactly half of the games studied used verbal instruction. Our experimental test bed consisted of four different VR games. First, we have Meme Dragons, a wave shooter game. Beat Miner, a rhythm game. Hammer 2, a third-person shooter game. And Hack VR, a puzzle game. Three different types of tutorials at the start of each game were implemented. Text, which is text instructions only. Text plus diagram. Text instructions with diagrams depicting the actions required. And text and spatial text instructions with the controller tooltip and the appropriate button highlighted. We were interested in the effects of different VR tutorial modalities on controls learnability, which is how easy the participants found controls to learn, engagement-related outcome, which is how engaged the participants were in the game subsequent to the tutorial, and performance, which is how well the participants performed in the game subsequent to the tutorial. The first hypothesis was that adding diagrams to text will increase controls learnability, performance, and engagement-related outcomes. The second hypothesis was that adding controller tooltips to text will increase controls learnability, performance, and engagement-related outcomes. Finally, the third hypothesis was that adding controller tooltips to text will increase controls learnability, performance, and engagement-related outcomes compared to adding just diagrams to text. In order to assess the controls learnability, we used the control subscale from the player experience of need satisfaction scale, the PEN scale, which has three questions assessing controls learnability. Additionally, we measured cognitive load with eight items. Performance was measured using the performance metric to best capture the performance of the player in the game. For engagement-related outcomes, we used the competence, relatedness, autonomy, and immersion subscale of the PEN scale, as well as the intrinsic motivation inventory. A total of 433 participants were recruited through Amazon Mechanical Turk. Four experiments were conducted identically and sequentially, differing only in the game being used. A between-subjects design was used, and tutorial type was the between-subjects factor. Our first hypothesis on adding diagrams to text was supported only in the puzzle game for controls learnability. Our second hypothesis about adding controller tooltips to text was supported in the third-person shooter game for controls learnability, performance, and engagement-related outcomes. Further, it was supported in the puzzle game for controls learnability and performance. Finally, our third hypothesis about the controller tooltips and the diagrams was supported only in the third-person shooter game for controls learnability. We found significant results only in the third-person shooter and puzzle games. The results suggest that game type is a significant factor in determining the influence of modality of tutorial instruction. Prior work on multimedia learning theory supports our results. The principle of combining graphics with words supports the use of either pictorial diagrams or controller tooltips using the player's controller as in-the-world graphic. Both the principle of avoiding extra material and using visual cues are also relevant. In light of the player's controller that already exists in VR, the pictorial diagrams may be viewed as a type of extra material that is unnecessary. 
Controller tooltips are not typically leveraged in traditional platforms such as desktop displays, so further research could study different implementations of these tooltips. Tutorial modality influences some VR game types, controls, learnability, engagement-related outcomes, and performance. When we compare these tutorial modalities, text and spatial led to the highest controls learnability, player experience, intrinsic motivation, and performance on average in third-person shooter and puzzle games. Text and diagram was slightly worse, and text was the least beneficial. While the results suggest the tutorial modality makes little difference in simpler VR games, developers should consider utilizing more advanced tutorial modalities when instructing players in complex VR games. Many VR games feature tutorials, and these results can directly inform the design of VR games. Additionally, although we focus our studies on VR games, these results may also be applicable to VR training environments more generally.